you will from one long-standing tradition to another. This story is showing us all about excellence and community work. That's right. Well, this Hartford County nonprofit celebrating a huge accomplishment today. The work that goes on behind it has stood for almost 100 years. Max McGee tonight taking us to Ledoux Gardens. Okay, family, welcome into Harford County. I'm standing in front of some amazing topiary dogs at Ludu Gardens. Now, this place is 250 acres of special, and it's been here for a century thanks to Harvey Ledoux from upstate New York, and now the celebrating an anniversary of being a nonprofit for 50 years. The colors change everywhere you look, from the purples, the reds, oranges. Ledoux Gardens has been here since 1929, but today's accomplishment is growing like the tulips everywhere. 50 years as a public garden. You would think perhaps that COVID would be a time where nonprofits wouldn't see a lot of activity, and it's been the complete opposite for us. The breathtaking views has educated visitors for decades while promoting the garden and facilities, keeping the spirit Harvey Ledoux invested during the Great Depression. The last 50 years of care of the gardens, um, I think it's noticeable. Um, very well taken care of by a professional group of horticulturalists, and particularly in the springtime, they just look beautiful. Today's the first time we were here. I love the sculpture gardens, and then all of the little nooks and crannies that you can wander through. These stunning pictures from the 50s tell a story of transition. The terrace of 1957 and Ledoux clipping Swan Topiary to the croquet court of today. The history is timeless. We now understand in a much deeper way the importance of these kind of places for people, particularly through the pandemic. The other time we saw the same kind of spike in attendance was after September 11th. Successful for a century, rooted in the vision of its founder. Okay, this place had 988 visitors on Sunday, but they'd still love to have you even though they're busy. And they're open every other day besides Wednesday, 9 to 3 p.m. In Harford County tonight, I'm Max McGee for WJZ.